हेलो चलो कंटिन्यू करते हैं अपना ओके तो ये अपन ने गिराया है इसका लूट किया है अपने बंदे थोड़े मारे गए हैं अभी अपने को रिवेंज लेने का है सो लेट्स गेट ऑन द मोटरसाइकिल एंड चलिए शुरू करते हैं लेट्स गो चलो बाबा क्या हुआ हाँ Scorpions and I would hate that city. You knew that well? Probably better than I know myself. He said when I'd had enough of the city, we would get ourselves an RV. Ooh, off road. We'd stock up and hit the road. Crater Lake. That was his big dream. Heard it's beautiful there. And that Ryan Deemer's car is rusting at the bottom. What? Who? That corporal stole some sort of prototype. Think was Militech. You don't remember? Anyway, chase the guy through three states, only to fish his body up out of the lake. Killed himself. Got it. Doubt it. Think they hit him with the virus. Anyway, lost control. Probably suffocated before he could drown. That is fucked up. You stop thinking about all that sad shit for a moment, right? Trolls definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Buffy, see that? The pumps wow. look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. Up, क्या करे? किधर किधर है तो आ रहा लगता है क्रिटिकल Got it. I'm on. Come on, B. Wait, wait. Bro, kidder, kidder, se mar rahe hain. बंद कर सकते क्या इधर मैं क्या कर रहा इधर गाना बजा रहे हैं
to your one component. Oh, orange. Oh, yes, buddy. Okay. Open. Who is here? I'm in. Helmet. He has to be here. Yeah, he has to be. But. An explosion of taste. Get there, boy, sir. Get there, guy. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. The hell are you doing here? This is my uh. station. Name's Marty. Okay. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Bechara. Put me here and lock the door. Don't look too concerned. <laughs> Ain't my first rodeo. Once oh. the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I. Yep. I just dust myself off and get back to work. Did you see him? a man with them. A man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. If I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. <laughs> okay. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay, covering you. Know what they wanted? Anything? Had some sort of accident. Wanted to call someone in town. Oh. Tell me they didn't. Like to hear that, wouldn't you? Shit. Not your lucky day, boy. One grabbed my Shit. collar, another grabbed my phone out of my pants. Damn, Made bro. a call, waiting for more of their own to show. Shit. Shit. Do you even get any customers out of here? Shit, anyone even Not drive this time, way? V. Anyone who don't like refueling with cameras watching them? Not many, sure, but they're all big tippers. You get me? Yeah, I get you. Gotta run. Bro, oh, what the hell? Okay, let's go. Who sent you? Hey, easy. We hey. gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up Not already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. <laughs> Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. Don't take this personally. Top back. Seem Let's to recall go. you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yep. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his foot. An interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Yeah, probably. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive? What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. Okay, See you. Takamura. Left. Chill, bhai. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Oh, shit. Looks like okay. your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. 
Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Toss him on the bike? Hey, Gadi to this? Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder colors. <coughs> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. Wow. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. Mm -hmm. I sure hope you get some important answers. Yep. Bro. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to race Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that AV got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're Ronaldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still an Aldo Caldo. What the fuck, dude? Damn it all! Chill, buddy. Chill. Chill, chill, buddy. Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen to Saul? you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic yeah. sometimes. I see that. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? What will you do now? So, what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. About everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Oh, Let's move. shit. I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Wow, I got a bike. Hello, buddy. Hotel Malikitate. Oh, shit. You have to be a little bit of 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 Okay, let's go. Hey. <laughs> Where am I? What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Wow. Any specific middle? No. Nope. Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. What offer? If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You're gonna help me kick it? So, what do you propose? Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. 
That is, unless I remove it. Mm -hmm. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine Silver print. Hand. Construct, that's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Long story. If Arisaka finds me, I'm dead. So are you. So we are in no hurry. And I'm interested, truly. Jesus. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware? Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes, which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay, guys. This is it. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could do... Woohoo! It's bargaining time! ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? 
Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny? Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try, just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. He just admitted you're right. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. Me? Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What will you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. Standing. That is certainly in your best interest. V. I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Hmm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhumane. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. <laughs> no, uh, no need. <laughs> okay. See you, Takamura. See that? Fuck me. Just look at that. What is happening? Ugh. <laughs> Sons of bitches. Oh, no, 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 no. You really are paranoid. You don't see it? Way corpse are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by no piece? What? Get Can't turn a blind eye to that. Grimes is really turning you on. Mm -hmm. Bet you see worse things in those shiny city apartments. This is the part where you divulge your master plan to annihilate Arasaka? No. It's the part where I say I despise petty merc thieves who think they're hot shit rebels after setting foot in the afterlife. Okay. Might think you took on Arasaka, but you're just a bug they scraped off the sole of their boot and tossed in the trash. <sighs> Says the most inept terrorist in human history. Need I remind you how you let Arasaka crush your soul and put you here? 
A nomad could never understand what it means to fight for this city. Die for it. You sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. How you find life under my skin? Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. So listen, will... will I notice a change, or... Is it one of those things where... I wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human, rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. As I see it, you don't know what you really want. So you concocted a boogeyman to fight. Arisaka. Huh. You're funny. Got a new life you did. But you got exactly no idea what to do with it. Honestly, don't differ a bit from those poor bastards handcuffed to the feeders in their mega block pads. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. <laughs> Come on, don't exaggerate. Hey, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them. Defeat them. Gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it. But you will one day.
Oh, shit. 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 O